Good morning from Tucson. Okay, uh, a couple quick things. Number one, when I was cleaning out Danny Adventure Bus the other day, I happened to notice that I had more more postcards. Uh, wow, man, this is nuts. I got so many from Bryce Canyon. I bought them, I think, with the intention of uh, writing them to friends and family, and then after that, I think I met Jamie, Enigmatic Nomadics, for the first time, and then I was out in the desert for a while, and you know, you know, when you're having a good time, just kind of forget about things. So maybe we should do a, a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway today. Where are the other ones? I would just want to see how many I have to give away before we do a giveaway. Let's continue in chronological order with the most recent postcards, then we'll get to the Bryce Canyon ones later. So, the next place after I went... Okay, so these ones, by the way, there's five. There, I responded to five people in the comments. I asked for their email address. I only got three back. So there's two <laughs> that I still haven't heard from. So, it's going to be really hard to like go back and like keep track of this kind of stuff so I'm going to do a giveaway and choose people within 24 hours of this video posting so please 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 jump back on YouTube and uh, look for the notifications that I commented on it or however that works okay so we have one two three four five six from Guadalupe Mountains National Park all you have to do is comment in the video that's it that's all I require. If you want, give it a big old thumbs up too. I'm just gonna show you a couple things I got in the mail. Um, none, of these, there's, none of these are sponsored. Um, I just wanna share what I got. A fuel filter. When you drive a diesel, always carry a spare fuel filter. Right here, I got organic meal replacement. This stuff has tons of vitamins and uh, minerals down here. So I just figured instead of taking like a little vitamin pill for the, almost the same price, you can get a whole meal replacement, so why not? My buddy Real Estate Dave recommended I get a book. Um, I'm not a huge reader, and I was very disappointed to learn that this thing is like 700 pages. It's gonna take me forever. So anyways, there's that. Um, oh yeah, I got a tactical flashlight, so next time me and Aria are lost in the desert, we can fly, find our way home. I'm taking these things back today because they suck. Um, I have, and also this may be the reason that the volume spikes up and down, so sorry about that. Um, I got myself a fan, which is going to go right up here, nice and clean. I'm going to work on that, hopefully, in a few days over at the schoolie thing. Also, guys, Chili's sent me a package here, and... Let's open it up. <laughs> oh, look at how ridiculous this is. Ridiculous in an awesome way. Uh, sending you wishes, hashtag Chili's is love. Awesome. What's this here? There's something in here? Oh, sweet. I got a Chili's gift card. <laughs> yeah. Well, guess what? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for more fajitas. And yes, that's gonna be awesome. And then they sent me I don't want to call it an ugly sweater because it's actually kind of cool, but it is a holiday sweater and it's actually after the holidays. So I'll tell you what, next time I go into Chili's to redeem my gift card, I will definitely wear the sweater or I'll make somebody else wear it. Who knows? Uh, okay, so today's agenda, we're going to take back some stuff. We are going to, I don't know if I showed you this, but I, me and Claire got a planter. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the planter about right here or so. And I just learned there's plants called air plants, which require very little water and can hold up heat and the cold. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And then I have a bunch of these things to hang up. That's gonna go over the plants. This is gonna go someplace. That's going to go someplace, maybe up there. I think that would look good. And then we have this one to go. Boom, right there. All right, let's get started. Stop number one. We're going to get some Indian spices for all these lentils I've been eating. Also some lentils. Yeah, we got the qu squ uh, quad squad here. We got David also, young David. 
Good, what do you think about my lentil obsession? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we're in the market. We have red lentils, we have brown lentils, we have green lentils. These are the ones I've been getting at Walmart, but um, yeah, I think they're a little bit cheaper, but they're not organic, so I'm not really sure what to get. And there's all kinds of stuff here. Mission accomplished. Brown, red, and spices like Tunisian chipotle and curry powder and garam masala. All right, so return the speakers and we're over at the nursery and I'm just not really sure what to put in that little metal bin thing on the entryway steps. I feel like a little variety would be nice. I did see these things called air plants and they almost look like an uprooted plant and they're just a little scraggly. So I'm thinking maybe get something with some different variations and colors. Something like this would be nice. That's only eight bucks. Okay, so here is the options for succulents. Succulents, everybody knows what a succulent is. Everybody has succulents. And let me just show you something. Here is uh, air plants. So the air plants require like zero dirt or rock or anything like that. And they just hang out and you just like soak them, you spritz them once in a while. And they just like, they're like hassle free. They're almost like fake plants. Plus, look at some of the colors on these things. So, what I'm thinking, maybe I should just order some of these online. Alright, I'm having second thoughts. Look at how cute this little succulent is. And look at all of the options. No cactus on the bus. Maybe some of these. These look like jade. That could be fun. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. All right, young David has an excellent suggestion. What's your suggestion? So we should get those and get air plants too. Stick them like in the cracks and stuff. Mm-hmm. I think that would work out pretty good. All right, let's do it. We're gonna put air plants in between these succulents. These are air plants. We're gonna put air plants in between, and they're awesome. They require like zero water. All right, look at the prices on these things, for example. This little thing is five bucks, not a lot of color, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order one with a little bit more color. Uh, as you know, I've been doing lentils in the can. Um, it has been extremely cost effective. Um, however, this is even more cost effective. And I got myself a bunch of different uh, spices. Garam masala, uh, by the way, is kind of like a, this might be slightly incorrect, but the way I kind of um, perceive it, it's kind of like a Lowry's seasoning salt, <laughs> but like for Indian stuff. And I know that's probably like a, maybe a bad comparison because I don't really think there's a lot of salt in there. It, But I've been using this, uh, what is it called? Like a Louisiana seasoning for a long time. Actually, I think I... Did I run out of it finally? I could have ran out of it. I was using Slappy and Mama for a while. And ba Oh, no, here it is. This stuff. Um, Cajun seasoning. It's okay. It's alright. I give it like six stars out of ten. Maybe five. It's alright. You know, whatever. Anyway. Anyways, I'm trying to mix up their variety, but also some of this stuff is extremely healthy for you. Let's take curry powder for example. Curry, this particular one, has coriander, turmeric, which is really good for you, chili, cumin, fennel, clove, cinnamon, cinnamon is good for you, garlic is good for you, curry leaf, cayenne pepper, apparently good for you, and salt. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna mix up the, the routine a little bit. No particular reason why I brought this, bought this brand. They just happen to have it more than any other brands and more variety. I just tried to get the ones that looked like the best quality, like these. I don't know. We're gonna have fun with the vegetables from now on. It's probably gonna smell like a curry house in here, <laughs> and that's okay. Also, this is a fantastic product for anyone. Well, actually, for every single person in the world. Um, do you know that water waste filtration plants, waste plants, don't filter out chemicals? They don't filter out hard metals. 
They don't filter out anything except organic waste and actual chunks of stuff, right? So this is the ultimate eco-friendly soap. And it doesn't have to be this brand, but it, everything's organic and everything is completely biodegradable. Being a surfer, <clears throat> growing up in San Diego, I used to get sick all the time um, from dirty water contaminating the oceans, things like that. But also, there are places like the Great Lakes with very high um, heavy metals in the water. Um, the waters outside of, I think, Seattle have an extremely high <laughs> amount of cocaine and antidepressants. And lots of waters have um, a, like birth control, dissolved birth control pills, like in the water, uh, cholesterol medicine, high blood pressure medicine, things like that. And they're actually affecting fish uh, and other organisms, frogs, um, salamanders, things like that. So I urge <laughs> every single person watching this to consider this stuff. I use it like a liquid soap. It's very sudsy. Go, a little bit goes a long ways. It's peppermint, and if you put that in the pri in your private places while you're scrubbing, oh boy, it will feel like a nice cool breeze. <laughs> it's very invigorating, but it's also really good for the planet. So that's a plug, unpaid. I just love this stuff. I try and use it all the time. There is a br uh, type that I found at Walmart. It's not organic. And I know this stuff isn't available everywhere. And the Walmart stuff was really cheap. It was like three bucks. This stuff was like 11 or 12 bucks. Um, so either one of those, great stuff, biodegradable. Um, doesn't hurt the planet. Whether you realize it or not, <laughs> we live in like a fishbowl with recirculating water. All the stuff that we consume goes out of us, goes into the ground, eventually finds its way back into our lakes and streams and oceans and then it goes back in us again. So if you can do your part, it's also a very good product. It it really does make you feel all fresh. <laughs> Alright, what else, what else, what else? Uh, I really feel like I need to do more shakes. So I got myself some uh, protein. Um, it's uh, hemp. I don't know. I'm just trying to mix it up. I got this stuff the other day. I think I mentioned raw organic meal, um, actually earlier in this video, I believe. And then I got this other, oh, it's actually inside. It's pea protein. Um, no particular reason other than I think it's supposed to be pretty healthy and all that. Um, I was eating steaks just a few days ago. I don't think I'm turning into a vegan anytime soon. However, I consolidated them all into this gigantic container right here, which used to be egg protein. Um, and I'm going to put all the lentils in similar containers like these, where my rice is, and store everything down here. I really like this reorganized flow I have going on. I want to keep it that way. Um, and then I think next up, I'm actually going to install this stuff. I think I'm ready. Alright, good news, bad news. Bad news, I don't have a little bit to screw in some of the things. But the good news is, today's still an amazing day. And I think tomorrow <clears throat> I'll be heading out towards the Schooly Palooza, starting the 5th, uh, and then the RTR starting the 11th. So I think I'll end it here. And uh, I know your time is valuable. And I just want to sincerely thank you for spending it with me. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow.